This, this is Trans Africa Radio. In the studio, we have a singer, songwriter, dynamic performer, and a multiple award winning artist coming all the way from Swaziland. Tears. The king. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the king, just Tears King. First name Tears, second name King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's I like good, that. Man? What's good? I'm good. How are you? Hey, man, it's good to be a Trans Africa Radio. Mm, welcome back home. Yeah, man, it yeah. feels like home. It feels like home. You guys are always so welcoming, always accommodating. Mm. It's always wonderful to come back. Mm, mm. Yeah, nice stuff. Uh, last time you were here, you were promoting uh, Kryptonite. Yeah, with yeah. Uh, with Ubuntu on Eben Echo. Yeah, it was yeah. on a Sunday, yeah. and now you are pushing uh, a a gemma uh, that you have released with uh, Ice Prince. Yeah, um, tell us about the challenges that you might have uh, you know gone through getting Ice Prince into the mix to lace this thing. Um, I think the first thing I want to say is. Um, as huge as Ice Prince is, mm, mm. Um, he came across as a humble person who is still in love with the music, still in love with um, the creation aspect of it. Um, so as soon as my management team, the Tasa Group, um, made the connection for us, um, it was just as simple as him hearing the song and recognizing that there's a young guy trying to come up. And within about two, three days, it he had sent back. He had sent back his verse. Um, mm. And actually, the day that. Um, my manager, Christian, uh, sent a screenshot of him listening mm. to the track, the recorded version. Definitely top three highlights of my career because um, Ice Prince has always been that guy that you want to get on a track with just to hear what type of vibe Swaziland and Nigeria can put mm. together. So yeah, um, humble guy. I wouldn't say it was difficult. Um, probably the difficulty would have been on the management side of things, getting hold of him, getting hold of his contacts. But mm. from my side, as soon as they said Ice Prince might be a possibility, um, I just sat with the producer to say, hey, man, we got to make this as sick as possible. Mm. Yeah. As I'm listening to you right now, um, you know, telling us about what went down. Yeah. Um, there, there's there's a quite a number or a pool of artists that, uh, you know, whose names they bounce around my head mm. that I think that you might have, you know, could have worked with yeah why ice prince in particular ice prince is diverse um and more than diverse he is from a completely different world a musical world than than mine um it's hip-hop but it's it's not the hip-hop we're used to um and Swaz and Nigeria are just worlds apart from economy mm. to population to exposure. And the journey that I'm on right now, um, as I put this project together, is to say a person who's followed Tias so far shouldn't be able to recognize the Tias I have become in this project. It should mm. be something of a transcendence. It should be growth from who I'm working to, um, who I'm working with, um, this is probably the first big international act I'm working with. Um, so if you set that standard at that high, you can only try to exceed it the next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of people, though, that I'd really want to work with. But for me, the first starting point was, 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 was Ice Prince. Was Ice Prince. Yeah. Hmm. Nice so faith, we call it a faith grower. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with um, the writings of Paulo Coelho. Um, oh yes, book, the, yeah, the the chemistry, right, yeah, yeah, the alchemist. So alchemist, in that book, mm. he 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 describes that when when you choose to follow your personal legend, that's the person you truly are. Um, before you define yourself with not disappointing that person, not living up to that person's standards, mm. when you choose to just say, "This is who I want to be. This is what I want to follow," the universe conspires in your favor. In your favor, yeah. And the first experience you will have is the universe giving you a positive affirmation that you're on the right track mm -hmm. i think uh, it's a it's a chapter three on that book yeah yeah beautiful beautiful writer so <laughs> for me that was that was where i was taking it to say if i say this is the journey i want to go for mm -hmm. what is the highest level that i can reach for that the universe will say you're on the right path mm -hmm. and 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 for a small guy in swaziland you're looking at about 1.1 million people um so when you when you come out of that and you do a collaboration um, 
with 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 somebody from a population which is 50 times over that 100 mm-hmm. times over that it just puts a warp in your mind to say dreams are really limited by how you see yourself um so yeah it was it was the most humbling experience mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to prove to myself that I can rise to the occasion, that I am an artist that can function at that plane, um, that you will hear the song and not feel like, hey, Ice Prince was dope, but that tears guy, who the hell is that? Um, <laughs> so I, it, was, it was an affirmation on all planes. You definitely me. lived up to that standard. Thank you very in much. In the studio, we have a Swaziland R&B crooner, Tias King, in the studio. Uh, if there are any questions of your own that you may like to ask, you are more than welcome to do so. Our WhatsApp line that you can utilize, it's plus two seven seven nine two five double four three two nine. And uh, yes, he has a, a song, uh, a banger titled Nump, uh, where he teamed up with uh, Nigeria's uh, Ice Prince, uh, Blue Eyed Boy, I call him. <laughs> and here it is. I like I like what is an esoteric taste, like specific. I'd like to imagine even the type of women that would approach me are a specific type. Um, if it's any type of woman, I feel it's insulting to myself because it means that I haven't portrayed what my character is. Um, not anybody walks up to a Mercedes um, dealer and asks what the price of the car is. Do you get my point? So, yeah, I'm more chilled. If if I'm not your flavor, move on to the next one. Yeah, yeah. try the guy next door. Yeah, try the guy next door. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a, a question from uh, Lebu uh, from South Africa. She doesn't say where she is exactly. She would like to know when are you releasing your album? This current album is actually out. You can catch it on Mm -hmm. iTunes. You can download, you can stream it. Um, You can sample some of the music on SoundCloud. That's at T.S. King. Um, But we are planning on having a formal launch here in Joburg. We will announce that. We're just trying to put the pieces together. Nothing should be rushed. Um, It's actually a culture shock for Mm. me. Back home... um, you ask uh, who's Tia's king, um, they'll tell you R and B king, and that's my lane. I've been running it for eight years. I'm known for that. Um, you cross over to South Africa, um, who's Tia's king? I don't know that fool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's 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 uh, it's it's an opportune time to rework on yourself, mm. perfect yourself, learn the art of being humble. Um, taking feedback as well that some people say ah that music is not my cup of tea then you try and rework your your, your music to now try and fit the market that you're in but people who want to get acquainted with with um, my music my style um, on any platform just look up T.S. King mm-hmm. yeah Right, Lebo Uzuilangish. I hope I answered your question, Lebo. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, to our music. Uh, there's a song that I like as well call, called uh, "Fire and Gasoline." Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the song number made it to our top 40. And I, ma- I must tell you, my guy, I must tell you, not any song gets to be on that top 40. My man, I screenshot every, every update on yeah. Twitter. You stalking every, us. I know, big time. <laughs> like, hey, yo, we're still in there. Yeah, we're still in there. Yeah. We're still in there. Um, and we're working, we're working on um, new music. Mm. Again, completely different vibe. Um as soon as that drops, I will definitely make the trip myself to put it a sandlin and say, hey, Baba, plays that. Ah, it's not talk in bed. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> in the studio, we have uh, Aaron P. Kruner all the way from Swaziland. He goes by the name T.S. King. And uh, you are more than welcome to either call us or use our WhatsApp line if there are any questions of your own that you would like, uh, you know, to uh, uh, ask him. Uh, tell us about the sales of the song Numb. Um, the song's available on iTunes. Mm. Um, we are in the middle of gearing up to now push the marketing campaign. This was us trying to get a sense of um, does the sound have a place um, on the airwaves. Mm. Um, so we are in talks to try and shoot the video, which should be happening, God willing, 
by April. Mm-hmm. Um, so by then, I think uh, we are expecting it to blow from the reception we've gotten so far. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's available on iTunes for people who want to check it out under T.S. King. Um, yeah, man. It's, 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 it's been out for a while. Yeah. yeah. In terms of uh, making the video, who are you working with? Now that's a management question. Um, <laughs> um, but but um, what what I'm trying to do is mm. my my passion is for Africa to start closing down its market as well as the West is closing its market to us. Mm. Um, my feeling is we. We should enter a new age of enlightenment. We would see we have all the resources, but we are the most poor continent. Mm, um, which is very we have, strange. We have all the talent, but we are the least influential um, continent. Mm. Um, a friend of mine was saying, if you were to hire, if you were to go and attend a Jay Z um, concert in the U.S., you are paying as much as thirty dollars, ten dollars to watch, but bring Jay Z this side. And you are paying in the region of 2000 for you to just be in the room with the guy. So yeah. we are paying them um, an arm and a leg. And they are taking that money off the continent to strengthen their own economies. So with the, the project, I want to work with somebody from Nigeria. I want the production to be done by somebody in Mozambique. I want the photography to be done by somebody in South Africa. I want the mixing to be done by somebody in the Congo. I want it to be a African project in its whole. Um, I, I reject the concept that African means uh, I, I wear traditional attire. Mm. I think we have a lot of people doing that. That's great. Um, you connect with people in different ways. I, I don't knock that hustle. But for me, African is what you identify with, um, who you pledge your allegiance to, the, the, the continent you would, you would die for. Um, and and that idea for me is if we can share the wealth, share the work, uh, then, then 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 you are African properly so called. Why do you think that, um, in terms of uh, trying to make uh, the country or the continent bigger mm. and acceptable in terms of the music that we produce here um, outside, mm. what, what what do you think prohibits us? from achieving that what prohibits our music from from penetrating Mm. outside i don't think it's a question of talent um we're having a heated debate last night about um the hip-hop scene in south africa i remember a time when nobody could recite hip-hop music from south africa Mm. quicker than your Jay Z's, your Nas's, your what have you. Um, the era of Guaido, when TKZ was the hottest thing on the airwaves, hip hop was not mainstream and mm-hmm. people weren't following that. Um, but they stuck to it. And now, nine out of 10 people I bump into are most likely listening to South African hip hop before international. So we're, mm. we're heading in that direction. But now, does that translate to it being played in the States, for it being played in the UK? No, because their market is closed down. It's protected. Um, we will give you a little airplay for you to feel like you can be a part of this, but you will not rule as king um, mm. on American radio, on American TV. You'll get the platform. You will get the shine enough for us to say, oh, Africa was put on and we follow you. Um, but not to the point that you're on the charts, you're getting heavy rotation. I, I don't see that happening. Yet the reverse on our side, they're taking a substantial amount of our airplay, um, a substantial amount of our endorsements. They have a gig here, they're getting the biggest attention. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's something that needs to change. It's going to be gradual, but it's something that needs to change. Definitely. We will get there. Yeah. In the studio, we have uh, Tias King coming all the way from uh, Swaziland. Um, there's a question coming from Mungele. She wants to know, um, who are you going to work with in the next uh, you know, song that you're going to produce? I hate to say who I'm going to work um, um, with, but my desire right now um, is to work with somebody who is in the hip hop world, but new school. Um, Aries is quite an interesting artist, mm-hmm. um, not because he's just a dope rapper, but when I listen to his music, he's a songwriter. 
mm. meaning I could approach him and say, can you write an R&B track for me? And I think he'd blow it out the park. So I do have a song that I would want to try and, um, and um, work on with him. Um, I'll leave that to management since I've put it out in the universe. Hey, you and the management. Yeah, the, 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 the management. Yeah. The management team must do work on that one. Uh, but, but yeah, um, I would really love to work with mm. Aries. I would really love to work with Cuesta. I think Cuesta is probably one of the most talented mm. um, rappers you have. I would really want to work with uh, Davido. Yeah. Um, I would really want to work with Donald. I would want to work with um, AKA. My dreaming is is limitless right now. It is definitely. My dreaming is limitless. But first option, I have a song in mind with Aries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's swing back into the music. Intellectually charged lyrics. Uh, crash and burn. The music is empowering and fun to dance to. Whew, time flies when one is having fun. It's three minutes before the hour one. Hey, my dot. Cheers. A guess. <laughs> no, it's definitely fine, Kazaline. You know, the concept of that song, though, mm. um, was a Bonnie and Clyde, mm. right? Like two people coming together. It's fire, but it's destructive. So picture gasoline and fire. They obviously go together, they dance. It's passionate, it's visible, and then it's done. So the question is, do you go for it and enjoy the passion, the flame, and let it die, or do you avoid passion completely? Yay. Yeah, so that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's for us, the writers. I know yeah. people just listen to it and like, ah, no, we vibe, but uh, when the flames <laughs> turn into smoke, we'll be gone. That was the concept. So let it burn. Hmm. Yeah. Nice one. Tell us, why are you here? We only have two minutes left, but let's make the most of it. Why are you here? I'm here to Why just get... South Africa? I just want people to open up to a new wave of music. Mm. Um, I'm not looking to be the most popular individual. I'm just looking to get my tribe. Um, my vibe is very different. Um, I consider myself a unique artist to what's already there. And my plea is just for people to get onto the SoundCloud, get onto the Twitter, engage. Um, and the more activity we get, I would love to take people through a live show of T.S. King here in Joburg. Hmm. It's completely, completely an experience of um, the suit and tie crowd, the hmm. sophisticated in hearing, um, but the very urban in uh, their preferences. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's 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 my only mission is to get find my tribe mm-hmm. in the city of Joburg, city of dreams, city of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of city of gold, yeah. uh, I know you have been asked this question before. Yeah, you man. know the fact that we play hundred percent African music. Yeah. Not so long ago, another station mm. because you know we trendsetters like that. Uh huh. Another station uh, made an announcement of uh, doing a ninety percent. Um, South African music yeah. and ten percent of uh, you know music yeah. outside uh, the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you first heard that, um, what 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 sort of thoughts uh, went into your head? I, 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 I'll keep it a hundred with you. Um, like I said, I'm I'm proud of the fact that I'm a bit of a weird kind of person. Mm. I thought that's the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Even though I knew that, hey, but this is limiting my chances. My my question is always. As people uh, of African ascent, we mm. we are used to just being raped. I mm. mean, um, and we never want to close our markets and benefit our people. Um, so for me, it just said, hey, at least there's somebody who is seeing it in a different way that, yo, we need to make sure that our artists are getting paid. Um the conflict, though, for me was that Joburg is the mecca of Africa. Mm. This is where everybody comes to boost their career. You have even your Ice Prince is very established in huge markets still coming to Joburg to, to try and make a bigger mark on, on the market. So if you are closing down Africa for South Africa you are injuring the bigger picture, which is Africa. But now Mm. if we're saying we are closing down international acts 
for the preference of African. For me, that, 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 that pushes the, the mission statement further to uplift African music. Obviously, in that Africa, South Africa needs to take care of itself first. Mm. So obviously, then even there, there would have to be a higher stack or ratio towards a South African, but include the African as a whole. True. Yeah. True, true. Tell me, what are the ingredients do you think uh, that makes you special and unique I'm a, as an artist? Um, R&B artist. R&B artist. I'm an incredible romantic uh, yeah, 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 my, yeah, yeah. myself. Yeah. Um, a lot of people that I am in a space with, um, guys in particular, um, will say I'm the movie type that watches too many movies. For me, radio, TV, and what have you, these are all pictures that we can aspire to. Mm. And if you move closer to it, you become better yourself. True. So I'm a romantic. I write my own music. I take time with that, with that skill, that art. Um, I am a great performer. So you've listened to the music on, 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 on radio, on CD, and now you want to come to a concert. It's a completely, 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 completely different feel. Um, and I'm a person who takes time with also the visuals. Um, and I dedicate... I dedicate myself 150% into the alter ego. So a person who follows T.S. King, uh, you're not going to find me ranting and raving on the internet. Um, you, will most <laughs> likely, you will most likely hear what my thoughts are about, what my positions are about on certain things. And mm. when I do drop music, you will know it's at the standard that any place in Africa should listen to it and say, yo, where that kid from? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I... I Without blowing my own trumpet, I, I really feel I am at the level where I can engage with people outside my borders and they enjoy what I do. Certainly, yeah. without a doubt. I mean, the song that you did with Ice Prince, it's uh, really big. I appreciate and, uh, that. Yeah, it's really big. I appreciate big. that. So, yeah, man, tears. King. <laughs> <laughs> First name Tears, second name King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming through, my no, guy. No, thanks for having me, man. Yeah. It's, it's always an honor and a privilege. And like I always say, this is your second home, my guy. It feels like that. Yeah. It really feels like that. I'm glad it does. It's time for us now to move on uh, to the next hour. Uh, it's four minutes after one o'clock Central African time. In studio, we had a Tias King. In case you've just tuned in right now and you've missed out on this magical, beautiful, sweet sounding interview, you're more than welcome to uh, go to our website uh, a day or two and uh, check out the podcast. You can just listen to it for as long as you want and get to hear exactly. Uh, what uh, Tias King is uh, well has been up to and uh, what uh, he is uh, about to unfold as well. All that was said within the last hour up until now. My guy, thanks again and uh, you know uh, It's been real. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been real. It's been real and uh, I've learned a lot you know from you. You are you are one person who's uh, definitely in touch with his emotions because us as guys yeah, We shouldn't we, say it like that, right? It makes me sound a little weak. <laughs> But he's you know, in touch, he's in touch with you, his you, feelings. You, 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 you know how it is. You know how it is with us guys. We don't like being yeah. in touch with yeah. our you yeah. know, softer side. Yeah. And I think we are. You know, yeah, I we, think we are. We, we we hope we do have a softer side. Mm. Back home, there's a, a um, what you call it, a uh, hashtag. Men are trash. Hurts me every time. Men are trash. <laughs> yeah, like well, hashtag. I've heard, men I've are heard trash. that quite a number of times. Yeah. Yo. And uh, when you look at the stuff that guys are doing, you, you, you can't knock what the hashtag is about. We, we do tend to be trash. So um, yeah. the music is to try and uh, win it back for the guys, um, bring out whatever issues women have and apologize on behalf of the brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah. Salute. <laughs> Aluta continua. Blessings, man. You know, with, with all your endeavors. Yeah. Uh, everything that you want to achieve, I believe that you have already achieved it. Yeah. And of course, you... I receive. You receive. I receive. You receive the blessings. <laughs> <laughs> Go out there, break a leg. Be great. Make us proud. Thank you, man. Outside I the continent as well. Appreciate that. That's the goal. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's how uh, it goes. Uh, here comes uh, another. Well, they say when it's uh, nice, it has to come back twice. Mm. Can't tell you how I'm feeling. 
Tears King teaming up with Ice Prince Nam. This is Trans Africa Radio.